All right, let's start with this. We call it the storm stink eye uh, from these <laughs> cows that are like, listen, I don't know what this is all about, but it's shot from Reserve where they've done very well. And in fact, Matt, across really the Gila as a whole, six to 12 inches of snow. Wow. So now it depends on where you go. It's about six inches here outside Reserve. But if you get up higher around Mogollon, they did even better than that. So some good news for the overall snowpack across our southern mountains. This is a shot from Highway 54 in Vaughan, where they're getting snow at this hour and snow packed and icy roads across a good portion of eastern New Mexico tonight. Here's a look at what we've got. We have winter storm warnings from the metro area down through Socorro County, and they're really needed in Socorro and Valencia County. As you get out across the east as well, no question these winter storm warnings are verified in places like Tucum Carrying along the I-40 corridor down by Roswell. We've gotten about four inches of snow there. The metro is a different story. This thing is basically pushing snow up to about I-40. And if you go north of I-40, it's tough to get the snow. And I think you're going to have trouble getting a whole lot of snow up into the core of the city here. We are seeing some light to moderate snow across southern portions of the city and down into Los Lunas, Belen, areas like that. Three or four inches of snow on the ground are likely to fall here. But notice we're right on that edge. And we'll talk about that in just a moment in the rest of your forecast here. But you can see the heavy snow on the I-25 corridor down through Socorro. As we get over along I-40, this is where we're really seeing the heavy snow. We got a tough road for tomorrow morning. I think it's going to be I 40 Moriarty to Tucum Carry, where six plus inches of snow are likely, and maybe even more than that. Places like Clovis have already got six inches of snow on the ground, four inches in Roswell. We're starting to see things pull up there with most of the snow heading into east central sections, and things are quieting down a little bit over the Sacramento Mountains. So, a wider view shows the core of our storm is here over southern New Mexico. It'll continue to slide east throughout the night. With it, that snow will continue to lift into the east side of the state here. Metro area again hit and miss snow showers here with a temperature right now of 30 degrees with some snow out there and across the north temps pretty cold. We're starting to clear things out. Five degrees in Durango, 10 in Taos and down across the south where we've got some snow. 20s and 30s for the most part here and this storm will continue to track its way to the east tonight. Now here's what happened with this thing. As it came out of Arizona last night and we talked about this, it was going to strengthen and it did. So it pounded the Gila with 6 to 10 inches of snow. Now as the storm continued to slide to the east, we talked about what was called a trowel that came off the top of this storm, especially off the north and west portions of a storm like this. You can end up with a very good scenario for snow and that's exactly what's happened in that overall snow band from Tucum Carry back toward the Metro has been a very efficient snowmaker. So what makes it an efficient snowmaker? Well, you have cold air at the surface here, and we've got that all across New Mexico. That combined with a little warmer air above it and plenty of moisture above it as well means pretty good snow setup here. And once you get enough of that cold air in place, you start to push the snow down. Now the problem for the metro area is where this snow band set up. Now some models pushed it all the way through the city here. Others said, wait a minute, maybe not quite. And what we've ended up with is this thing that's just sat along I-40. So we're not going to get as much of it here in the core of the city. We'll get some, but the East Mountains are getting most of it out across the east and through Socorro County. That's where most of the action is. But we want to track the rest of this for you tonight, give you an idea where that snow is going to go over the next couple of hours. And to do that is meteorologist Chris Gilson, who has more on tracking the snow. Chris. Most of the action is going to be south of Albuquerque over the next hour or two, and then the action shifts further to the east. So timing everything out on Super Storm Track as we go into the next hour or two, most of the action, Valencia County, Socorro County, you're getting pounded right now. That will be the case for the until about midnight. And then as we head towards morning, most of the action shifting further to the east along the central mountain chain over to places like Santa Rosa. Tucum carry a slight chance for some spotty snow around the Sacramento Mountains and just to the north of Roswell. But as you can see, this system's not going to stick around for very long for tomorrow. So central and western New Mexico will be clearing out by tomorrow morning with just some action around Tucum carry. So again, as Mark mentioned, Santa Rosa over to Tucum carry along Interstate 40 is going to be a tough go, even though the snow will be letting up. Then a week cold front moves in late tonight or late tomorrow night into Sunday, and that could trigger some light snow around Raton. Mark? Yep, Chris, thanks very much. Appreciate it. So let's go to those storm targets and what we can expect throughout the rest of the night. First of all, for you guys across the southwest, any snow showers remaining will taper off. Going to be cold overnight, and then the drier air will start to push in for tomorrow. Across the southeast, watch the I-40 corridor for the heaviest snows, but some of those lowland areas could continue to pick up an inch or two later on tonight. And again, the Sacramento Mountains way high will do pretty well for accumulating snow. And here in the metro, again, we put that cut off about I-40. So you may get nothing out of this or up to a trace. Now, if you're 
say in the East Mountains, you're going to do better for snow here. That backs off tomorrow as well, improving road conditions throughout the day. Let's go region by region across southern Colorado. Cold night tonight with clearing skies. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, looking pretty good. Across the northwest, partly sunny here. 32 Farmington tomorrow, 31 in Gallup, and 32 out in Grants. Meanwhile, across the southwest, well, that snow will be clearing tonight and then into tomorrow. It'll be a pretty nice day, but a good snow storm for the Gila. Watch out along I 40 tonight. The farther north you go, boy, it's going to be tough. Now, the opposite is true across the northeast. If you're around Tucumcari and Santa Rosa, that's where most of the action is. Lighter snow amounts possible a little farther north. Northern mountains, not much tonight and a lot of sunshine for tomorrow, but a cold start to the day below zero. Red River Angel Fire, 28. Edgewood, 30 in Estancia. Some snow tonight across the East Mountains. And again, watch out. Places like Moriarty, Klein's Corners, through the I 40 corridor. 39 downtown for a high tomorrow, 37 in the valley. Again, snow tonight up to three inches in those favored spots. But I got to tell you, most area is going to be looking at a trace out of this deal. And in the seven day forecast, we are looking at temperatures rebounding into the 40s by Sunday and the mid 40s into Monday as well. Thanks, Mark. Great work. Thanks, Chris.